So what are you showing here? This is E-Ink's next generation Triton display. This is the Triton 2. It's our color display. Essentially, we take a monochrome display, put a color filter to create this device. We've also added a front light to it, and you can see it's still very thin, and the color has improved compared to the previous generation Triton display. And we are in mass production with this particular product. And some of our customers have already announced devices using the Triton 2 display. Uh, here's one example using the Triton 2 display. This is the Ektakos Jetbook device that is used in education, and uh, it, it is already in mass production. Uh, what we have done with Triton 2 is um, not only um, decrease the thickness of the stack so that we have more light going into the system and thereby that enables better color saturation, we've also put front light. So in this particular module, there is a front light. You can see the LEDs here on the side and uh, uh, with this connector, this pigtail here that will light up the LEDs when connected. That is the entire module, very thin. And here's an example of a, uh, a device that we've created with the front light what front light does for us is it provides more light going into the system, adds on to the ambient light, and uh, the color shows off a little bit better. And um, so this is Triton 2 in existing products already shipping uh, in 2013. So can you turn off and on the, the, the light? Yes, you can. And uh, you'll still get the same impact of the Triton display if there is a lot of ambient light and when there is not enough ambient light you can turn on the uh, front light and uh, you can increase or decrease intensity in this particular sample and we expect our customer uh, deployments to be similar where you can have ambient light sensor and then augment the ambient light with uh, uh, front light technology. What is the cost of color? Uh, the color cost compared to, uh, compared to the monochrome display is marginal uh, because we are just using a, uh, uh, a color filter to achieve color. So this is actually a monochrome e-ink display with a color filter on top. It's a passive layer that's not active and uh, uh, it's a layer that has RGBW uh, uh, subpixels and that renders the color for our uh, e-paper color display. Do you expect that at one point every e-ink screen is going to be color or not really? It's just a specific use. Uh, I believe that the monochrome displays are going to be around for a long time because the monochrome displays are very good and they have a, a lot of very good functionality. Uh, but color is very important in certain markets. Like for example, in this, exa in this particular application, in education, when you want to show more information, color helps. Uh, so you have images that can uh, uh, that can render color, uh, and uh, uh, you, you can convey much more information. That's where that is going. So I believe that um, a, a lot of our applications will transition to color in the future, but monochrome will continue to remain remain strong in certain categories, particularly for reading type applications. I think monochrome is uh, very very useful. Can you have a color e-reader that shows black and white exactly as good as on a monochrome only e-reader? At the moment, no, but that is our intent. That's where we are going. Uh, we already have achieved a level of uh, performance with the uh, black and white, which is pretty good, as you can see in this particular example, or even in the front lit example, wherever you see the black and white content, you see that it's pretty good. Uh, even in a color display and that is the intent is to make sure we don't sacrifice on the reading experience with uh, a monochrome as we build these color devices. Now we've kept all the existing benefits not just readability but it's also low power, it's sunlight readable and it's very light and um, uh, will enable you to build very large devices that uh, um, not only consume less power but it also <laughs> weighs very little so you can use uh, you can carry these devices with one hand and use the other hand to write